The Muppets first originated in the 1950s by puppeteer Jim Henson. The call of characters were created for an adult audience, but soon it became clear it would be better received by a younger one. The Muppets' popularity got them interviews and late night talk shows, and eventually in 1969, what evolved to Sesame Street. Finally, the puppets reached their peak in the 80s and 90s. They went from the small screen to the silver screen, starring in their own movies from Muppets Christmas Carol, and of course my personal favorite, Muppet Treasure Island. This comedy adventure is directed by Brian Henson, the son of the creator. The puppeteers and the voices is what brings the Muppets to life, but it's Tim Curry, who is the film's spine, that gives the film the human emotion the film desperately needed along with his non-stuffed co-star, Kevin Bishop, who as Jim Hawkins will play well off of each other. We've seen them dance, sing, and now we get to experience them in action, fighting against greedy pirates. Tim Curry could have easily phoned in his performance, but being as dedicated as he is, he doesn't. His range of films and characters have quite the diversity, as he seems to be able to bring any character to life, from a transvestite living in Transylvania, to a horned lord of darkness, and one hungry clown, also known for his voice work in Fern Gully, The Wild Thornberries, and The Clone Wars. The Muppet Treasure Island was no exception. It would play the character Long John Silver into pirate perfection. We've also got hilarious appearances by Gonzo, Kermit, Miss Piggy, Rizzo the Rat, and Billy Bonds! It's me, Blind Pig. It's a 1996 swashbuckling adventure that you don't want to miss. <laughs> 